friends you just saw digital and analog clock that was created using our program so first of all i am going to show you the principle behind that clock so let's begin i used the plot area for uh, creating this clock so all the commands that you will see most of them will be uh, for creating uh, lines uh, and numbers or uh, text etc on the plotting area so the first command that I used for creating clock, which is although optional command, but in my understanding, that is very uh, important command here uh, in creating this type of clock. So this command is graphics.op. What is the use of this command? This command just erases the already present graph or plot in the plotting area of the R Studio. So it will erase the plot and now there will be no plot in the plotting area of the R program. The second command I used is the plot command. The plot command will recreate a plot, but this time this plot will be totally empty. There will be nothing inside the plot except a single dot in the center of the plot uh, to which uh, we will attach the needles or the hands of the analog clock. So this will create a plot like this, totally empty. The third command I uh, use is the text command. So with this text command, I have put the numbers in a circle in this plot and that numbers represents the analog clocks numbers from one to 12. So this can be drawn with text command. The next command I used is sys.time. The purpose of this command is that it will get the current time from the computer because we will create a clock that will show the exact current time uh, of the computer. So this command, the sys.time, will just get that current time. For example, it takes the time 10 past 12 and the seconds are 20. Then the next command you will use is str split. The purpose of this command is that you will have to split this time into three different integers. The hour, number the minutes number and the seconds number so it will be divided into three different numbers now we will use line command you know that line command is used to, to draw lines on uh, on an already present uh, plot or a graph so with this line command we will draw three lines and those three lines will represent the hour hand the minutes hand and the seconds hand you can draw any line First, there is no preference uh, or order for drawing the line. But here I'm uh, telling you about the hour uh, hand that I am drawing first. So it will draw a line for hours that will start from the center and will be directed towards the 12th number because the current time in the computer is 12 o'clock. The second line command will draw the minutes hand. It will draw a line from the center towards the number two because it will represent 10 past 12. The third line command will be used to draw the second hand. And the second hand will be between the central point and the number four. And four number, you know that it represents 20 seconds. Then the next command you will use is the sys.sleep. And inside sleep, you will use a number. Uh, I have used uh, one, which means that for only one second, this plot will remain in the plotting area. Or you can say that this looping, you know that uh, we will loop through these commands that you are seeing on the screen. This loop will stop here for one second and then it will repeat from the beginning. So this uh, plot that you are seeing will only remain for one second in front of you. Then, what will happen? The, the, the loop will revise. Okay. Graphics.off will again be run. Once the graphics.off is run, this already present clock or analog clock 
will be deleted. A new plot will be drawn using the same plot command and then with text command you will have to draw the numbers around the clock and then sys.time so it will get the current time now. What will be the current time? Because we had stopped the loop for only one second so now the time will be 21 seconds. It will not be 20 now. It will be 21 seconds. And now again str split, it will be split into three numbers. Again three line commands, you will have to use the first line command, will draw the same hand of hours at, at 12 o'clock. The second line command will draw the minutes hand and the third line command will draw the second hands but this time the second hand will not be towards the number 4. It will be a bit at a different position than 4 because now it is uh, 21 seconds. Again the plot will stay for one second, I mean the loop will stop for one second. Okay, similarly this loop will repeat after every second. For example, this loop has repeated for almost an hour. And now you are seeing this clock after an hour or you can say that the loop is running after an hour. So how will the loop run after an hour? Let's see. Okay, graphics.off will be run. The current plot will be deleted. New plot will be drawn using plot command. Text command will be used to draw numbers around the clock. Sister time will get the current computer time. For example, now after one hour, the time is 15 past one and the second hand is on the 30 seconds. STR split will split the time into three numbers and then line, uh, the first line command will draw the hours hand but this time it will not be directed towards 12. It will be towards 1 because now the time is 1. And the next uh, line command will draw the minutes hand and it will be uh, towards the number 3. That is between the central point of the clock and the number 3. The third line command will draw the seconds hand, so the, the line for the seconds will be between central point and the sixth number, because it will represent this 30 seconds. Again, the same sys.sleep stop the loop for one second only. So this will repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. And in this way, you will see a uh, running uh, analog clock in the plotting area of the R program. Okay, this was just a principle uh, that I have used for creating this clock. I have not shown you the complete code. So now let me show you the complete code that I have used for creating a running analog as well as you will see the code for the digital clock in the function I have created. Okay, this is the code that I have used and this is the name of the function that I have given to the function clock.sub. Why I have used dot sub because I want to dedicate this video or this function to my subscribers. That's why I have used dot sub in the function's name. So uh, thank you my subscribers and I am de dedicating this function to you people, uh, to the current as well as to the future subscribers. So then you know that uh, we use the function uh, command to create a function. This is duration. Uh, means the default duration I have set in in the in the function is 60 seconds. So your clock will run only for 60 seconds and then it will stop. You can put any number over here. For example, 300 seconds, 1000 seconds, 2000 seconds. For that duration, your clock will be running in the in the plotting area. Then another uh, argument is C type. C type. Uh, uh, if you put analog. Uh, in here then it will show only the analog clock and if you type both then you will see both the clocks there then you will use loop and then the same things that is graphics dot off and plot and the text command for putting the numbers in the circle on the plotting area this uh, we have used sys dot time to get the current time from the computer and then we have changed it to character and then we have split it uh, into date and time and after date and time we have used another str split which has split the time into three numbers integers hours seconds and uh, minutes and then you will have to use these codes as well because these codes are used for calculating the 
exact coordinates of x and y on the plot. Without this, you will not be able to draw uh, lines on the plot because you will have to find out the exact x and y coordinates for both the ends of each line, minutes, hours, and seconds. You can use trigonometric functions, that is sine and cos functions for finding out those uh, exact coordinates. And these are the, you can see, line commands uh, which I have used for drawing the lines for seconds, for minutes, and this one for hours. M text. This will uh, draw a digital clock uh, on the plotting area. This is only single command. Then uh, these uh, conditional commands for C type, if you type analog, then it will run this code, and if you type both, then it will ra run the above code. Similarly, the duration, if you type unlimited in the duration or uh, in the function, then uh, the clock will run forever. And then you will have to stop it using the stop button from the, from the console area. Okay, the, the code ends here. Now let me uh, run this code, run this function and see how it creates the clock in the plotting area. So the, the function name is clock.sub this and let's put the duration of uh, five seconds so that you can see how it stops after five seconds enter the clock has started running and you will see that uh, after five seconds uh, this clock will stop see this has stopped now now let's uh, use the c type in c type let's type both the clocks so that you can see that it will now run both the clocks in the plotting area you can see this is the digital clock and this one is the analog clock so this was all about this function and uh, uh, thank you very much for uh, enjoying this video and i will request you all to please uh, subscribe my channel so that you can enjoy the coming interesting and informative and educational videos. Thank you. Bye.